Hi guys, I've just managed to get myself a copy of Windows 3.1 in a virtual machine. Uh, so I'm going to show you just around it what it's like. I've set it up with 32 megabytes of RAM, 64 megabytes of video memory, which is too much, and 16 gigabytes of hard drive, which came with the uh, virtual machine. I think that's someone's just set it up hugely too big. Uh, I can't get any audio on it because it comes up with errors on VirtualBox. I'm not sure about VMware. Uh, I've got this like uh, over quadruple the amount that you'd need for the enhanced mode, which is the best mode that you can get on Windows 3.1 to make sure it works uh, as well as it can. So I'm just going to start this up and show you how it works. Okay. So when you first turn it on, you get um, it starts MS DOS instead of actual Windows, and you have to start Windows yourself. So I'm just going to come in here. And what you have to do is you have to type win, and then it will uh, well actually, this is just normal DOS, so you can do what you normally do in DOS here. And then you just type in win, and it will start up the um, graphical user interface. Okay, so I'll, I'll always get this error when I turn it on. And then you get, basically, you get, it looks like sort of a, um, sort of a folder that's open with another four five folders in. So the first one accessories, you just get kind of basic programs in here that you still kind of find on the newer versions of Windows, like the calculator. Which sort of doesn't look quite as good. But it's pretty much the same in the accessories compared to quite a lot of the newer versions. You still got notepad. So this version of Windows actually reminds me of quite a lot of the old Mac systems because they look quite alike and I think they were designed together, sort of. Anyway, um, in main you've just got a few settings, so things like the MS DOS, so you can actually have um, the DOS inside here. And then you just go, like oh, that to come back out of it. Uh, I'm not going to go on some of these things like Windows Setup because I don't know what it does and I don't really trust it. Start up, obviously, you put the today you want to start up when you turn on the PC. So you could have, say, Notepad start up when you turn on your computer. You have apps, which again are just sort of all sort of maintenance things like Dr. Watson. Uh, I don't really know what most of that stuff is, to be honest. There's like backup in there as well. And then the games is pretty much the same as um, what you'd find on Windows XP in 98. So you've got Minesweeper that looks identical. So it's exactly the same. And then you've got Solitaire, which kind of looks the same. It lags a bit on here when you're recording. But yeah, that is pretty much the same. So apart from that, this is quite a basic operating system. I mean, I only have played around with it for about 10 minutes now, and I think I have pretty much done everything. And the background doesn't seem to change. Uh, there's probably something in the settings or something that I can change that in, but I can't even find the settings at the moment. And anyway, when you want to turn off your computer, instead of just doing it normally, you have to go exit Windows, which you'll cancel your user session, then you go back to DOS, and then you turn off your computer. So you type, oh, you just come out of the virtual machine, close it. Okay, so. I'm sure some of you will probably want to install Windows 3.1 on your uh, computer on Virtual or VMware. So I'll post the link where you can download it in the description. And yeah, then you can download it and play around with it as well. And leave a comment if you find out how to change some of the settings. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks again.